Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one of the tutorial, we learn about how to do test summarization using another package called Sumi, right? Or Sumi. So Sumi is a very powerful Python package for summarization. Then it gives you the option of using several algorithms to be able to summarize your test or summarize the document. So these are all the algorithms that it supports. Now let's see how to work with it. So first of all, you have to install this particular package with pip install Sumi, then you can be able to have access to it. Now let's see how to work with it. So I've already imported the packages. So we use a plain test parser to be able to allow us to pass our test, right, our documents, our test either as string or as or from a file, and then we need to tokenize them, right, to be able to score them, to be able to summarize them. So that's the basic idea. Now let's read in our test string. So it's going to be document one. Then if I go with this our document that we had, the document one, it's our favorite test we have using about machine learning. So we want to summarize this particular test. Okay, now let's see how to work with it. So, in case you want to read from a string, which is this particular stuff, the first method is to use the parser, right? So, yes, we're going to pass it inside a particular variable called parser and use the plain test parser. So, the plain test parser allows us to read from either a string or from a lot of things. So, from a string or from a file. So, in case you have a file, you can just use the from file. And then, if you are working with a string, you just go with from string. Perfect. Then, I'm going to supply my string, which is document one. Then, I'm going to give it a tokenizer. So the purpose of tokenize, the tokenizer is just to tokenize the entire stuff, right? To be able to score them. So tokenizer, then I'm going to set it as English. So English. So this package supports several other lang several languages, which can also use to work on it. Perfect. And if I go to my parser here, that's created a that's passed the purpose into this test. Now, how do we summarize? So to be able to summarize it, I'm just going to use several algorithms for summarization. But this is how to read from a string. So in case you want to read from a file, if you want to read from a file, it's just going to be the same format, right? So this is going to be in case you are reading from a file. Let's say for files, it's going to be the same thing, but instead of this becoming string, this is going to be file. Right? That is in case you are reading from a file. So that is the basic idea. Now let's see how to work with the, the summarizers. So the first summarizer we're working with is a less rank summarizer. So which is coming from here, we have already imported it from here, right? This is the less rank summarizer. So the, pep, the mechanism of how this less rank summarizer works is that it works with by comparing them, how similar each and of their settings are to each other based on their importance, then it recommends them, right? So that's the basic idea. So it's just recommending other similar sentence to the reader. That is how it works. So it's a, it's a package of its own. So you can actually download this particular package and then use it for your work. So now let's see how to work with this. I'm just going to create my summarizer. Summarizer. Right, and I'm just going to supply this summarizer as initialize my list rank. Perfect. So let's see how to summarize it. So we're just going to be summarizer. Then I'm going to pass in my particular, I'm going to pass in the particular document that I want to summarize, right? So that's that is the basic idea. So let's call it a summary. My summarizer, then my summarizer. That I have. I'm going to pass in my document. So parser the document. So this dot parser the document is coming from the test we do that here. Perfect. Then I'm going to supply the particular number of centers I want. So maybe I want three. I'm going to rank it and then give us three sentences, most important sentence. Then to get our stuff, it's going to be four sentences. In summary, right in summary, sorry, then print our sentence. So it's going to give us the three most important sentences. So machine learning is a scientific study of algorithm, which is totally different from what we had here, right? So it's almost the same thing, but that's ranked them based on the best one, right? The top three. Okay, perfect. So that is how to work. Now let's see another algorithm using the LH. Loop, loop, right? I don't know how to pronounce it. So this one works on the frequency of the most important wave, just like what we have been doing in the previous tutorial on spacing. So it's going to count the most important wave and then find their frequency, their wave frequency. So let's see how to work with it. The same procedure, so I'm just going to initialize it. So let's call that LH and summarizer. Then I'm going to perfect initialize it. The same procedure that we did here, that is exactly the same thing you're going to be doing for the rest. So let's copy it here, then 
here is going to be our user riser. Let's call it as L. Sum, right? Perfect. So if I go with let's make it two, and the same procedure, then loop through is just like we did here. Is it the same thing, right? The only thing you are changing is just the algorithm or the summarizer that particular kind of summarizer you are using. So L dash, then perfect. So it's going to summarize it on two. Let's so that this one gives us it's totally different, which is totally different from this, right? Okay, this is the second one. This the second for this is the first for the loop. Perfect. Now let's see how to work with LSA. So LSA is latent semantic analysis, which is usually based on term frequency and then SVD. So now let's see how to work with it. I'll import it. Then I'm going to initialize my particular stuff. So let's call it as LSA summarizer. It's going to be our LSA. Perfect. And then I'm just going to create another summary. So LSA summary is going to be our LSA summarizer that we have created. Then we're going to pass in our document. So pass document then how many times at least i want two or maybe i want three or four then i can loop through it so let's loop through it it is going to be lsc perfect so this is really giving us two sentence right so that is how to work with sumi with lsa with all of these different algorithms so there's another alternative method so in case you have a lot of stuff west and you also want to remove them, you can also use this particular method of importing the stemma and then the getaway stop ways. Then you're going to clear it with the stop ways. Right, perfect. So let's try an example of how it's going to be done. The same thing, you have already initialized it. So the only thing you're going to do is just going to pass in our star. So let's call it as uh, something different. So let's say summary 2 is going to be our summarizer that's LSE 2, right? And we have and we're going to pass in our particular stuff so passer dot document then let's say two same stuff we had now i can run our stuff here to get our particular stuff which is very interesting so that is see that this is lsa almost the same thing and then this is totally different because we moved the stop words from it so it just changed the procedure this one gave us all of this thing this gave us if you check here there's some slight differences almost the same stuff for the first one but the second one it gave us totally different so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it in the comment section so that everybody can benefit and please don't forget to subscribe and share and also check the links below for some interesting cool stuff and some free courses thank you next